Well, hello. I'm walking to school right now because I am about to pick up a 3D printed mask. <laughs> so we're trying some stuff out. Uh, I think it's going to become a little more interesting soon. But I have a 3D printer. So we uh, printed a mask. Well, I started it at noon. Uh, printed a mask from the hospital in Minot, Trinity Hospital. And I'm about to see how it turns out. So let's check it out. So I'm walking up to the school. I'll just point out, I think if I'm printing masks, I'm essential personnel. Uh, we've got, I don't know who did this, but we have hearts for every one of our students all over the school. The windows in my classroom are covered with hearts. Uh, so that's pretty wild. And of course, more scary signs. A group of us teachers cleaned out every single locker and uh, bagged up the stuff for the kids. It should not look like this in April, right before Easter break. Product endorsement, but uh, MakerBot Replicator Plus. The mask took three hours and 39 minutes to print. And there it is. So let me pull it out. This comes from the hospital in Minot. We have a, an insert that's supposed to go in this hole. Printed with very little support, so I'm pretty impressed by that. Okay, I think I'm gonna print another one for me. You know, what are they gonna do? <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna use this khaki filament and uh, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. I'll put the one I just printed into the principal's mailbox and see how it goes. Yeah, I kind of think it needs a little bit of sandpaper, which is fine. Um, this face is good. Let's just see. Yeah, so if I have a special filter, I think we're in business. could probably make an editorial comment about how, oops, just dropped the filter piece. I could probably make an editorial comment about how sad it is that hospitals are resorting to using 3D printed filter masks, but uh, this is unprecedented and I don't think anybody took it seriously, including me. You might remember a few weeks ago I did those Gerstner videos about the new case I had for all my fountain pens. And you know why I ordered that? because I knew what was going on in China. I really didn't think it would ever happen here. But here it is, that's the world we live in. So, hope this was interesting, hope it was useful. I'll put a link to the mask down below if this is useful to you, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. The superintendent is here working late. For a science teacher, we actually have me and the other science teacher are going to last through this year and next year, so we're in business that way. <laughs> in fact, nobody's getting replaced in the high school. Uh, the neighboring school, if you're looking for a science position, is looking for a science job. Uh, you would be the whole science department, K through 12, but if you're into that kind of thing, that's a good challenge. Uh, my first six years of teaching science were actually that. Plus I would fill in the occasional math class. So, you know, if you're interested in that kind of thing, let me know, I'll hook you up. Uh, the main positions we're looking for are uh, elementary special ed and an elementary classroom teacher. So uh, yeah, almost everybody's coming back next year. So, you know, maybe uh, we've got some stability now. Challenge teaching online is not like teaching in the classroom where you just you know look around and you say, Oh, yeah, they've got it, or oh, shoot, no, they don't got it. Um, instead, you're looking at a screen, but we're set up, we're one to one with computers. All of our kids have a device at home, and as a bonus, yes, it's a bonus. Uh, our, and I'm serious about this, our local ISP internet service provider has said that they will offer free internet to any kids who don't have internet at home until the end of June. So, kudos, I mean serious kudos to them. So, 
Hope this was interesting, hope it was useful. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. For those of you who mock North Dakota and her seasons, I have a flower. <laughs>